one. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to a new episode of Empowering Voices. And today we have a very special guest. Uh, she's very young, but she achieved amazing things already. And uh, we start our conversation um, as usual from one of my t-shirts. Today I'm wearing the um, uh, shining bright t-shirt that is uh, really the right one uh, for uh, our uh, little star. <laughs> Sorry, I have this. Uh, I, I mean, definitely uh, Rebecca could be my daughter and uh, I'm very proud of what she did and she will tell us everything. Rebecca, welcome. Thank you for being with us and tell us a bit uh, who you are, what you do um, and inspire us. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's brilliant. Um, so I'm Rebecca Mabbitt. I'm a 20 year old um, who had designed a fashion app back in 2019. So I was on holiday in 2019 and I had this random idea. I'd ordered lots of clothes to go away and they came, they didn't fit, they didn't suit me, they had to go back. So I was like, do you know what? What if there was a way where I didn't have to send back these clothes. I could try it on virtually before I brought it. So I knew what it would look like when it arrived. Yeah. And we I wouldn't have to send it back. We know all the women, yeah. especially, we definitely know the pain of uh, trying something on and say, oh, okay, it doesn't really look like it was on online, right? Yeah, definitely. And it's so annoying because you love it online and you love seeing it on the mannequin and you're like, yes, that, that is the item that I'd like. And then when you actually get it, the disappointment and it's like, oh, mm. you know, I really like that. But now it's arrived. It doesn't suit me. Everybody's got different skin tones, different sizes. So obviously then you've got to take that into consideration. And that's why I had an idea. Like what if there was an app or a website that could do this? Yeah. And um, so I researched, there wasn't any out there. So I thought, do you know what? I've had this idea. I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I didn't know have a career that I wanted to do. So I thought, I'm just going to run with this. So That's I went. Went amazing because, <laughs> of course, all the time we have dreams and uh, visions, but to work out how from that yeah. idea to get to the practical part, I mean, you have to have a lot of determination and, and know that it's the right thing to do. Yeah, like it's ever since a young age, ever since, you know, in um, primary school and things like that, I've always said, I'd always love to own my own business. Mm -hmm. I didn't know in what, like, and I didn't know when, I just knew that I'd like to, I'd like to do it and say that I've done it and that that would be my passion. That's but amazing. I never knew that it was going to come so early on. So I thought, I've always wanted to do this. I've got this idea. Yeah, it's just the beginning, Less, though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not the last idea you are going to have and to bring to life, of course. No, definitely. And I think I'm so glad that I acted on it because I think if I didn't, I think I would regret, I would regret it. Yeah. Someone else would, I mean, your idea would uh, have gone to someone else yeah uh, exactly life so it's amazing oh but thank do you, you. Have, uh, do you have examples of entrepreneurs in your family uh, because you said that from a very young age you knew that you wanted your business does it come yeah. because in your family it's something already or just no so my parents are very hard like hard working and I look up to them a lot but no there was nothing no um entrepreneur Mm -hmm. side of things in the family mm -hmm. but no so it was uh, yeah your original yeah. idea so to break the chain I don't want the corporate world I want to be uh, yeah my own boss so that's yeah great. definitely <laughs> yeah. and um, so tell me uh, what is the process you followed from to go from idea to um, the app that is something existing you know we cannot touch it but it's like it would be tangible actually yeah definitely so what happened was when I got back off holiday I did loads of research on the app um you know just to see what was out there if it was needed things like that and then I went to a innovation company in the UK it was actually locally in Salisbury mm -hmm. and they what they did was they um said let's design a prototype so obviously I designed the prototype chose logos color schemes and things like that 
well, and then we made the together your vision and their experience yeah. I suppose mm -hmm. yeah exactly because obviously I don't know how to code um I'm not a tech I'm not so, some sort of tech tech yeah. person mm -hmm. and so obviously I wouldn't know how to do that so I designed it all and they put it together for me and then we coded the app and obviously this was all during Covid because we launched the app in September 2020 That's so obviously oh you know God. Yeah, it's so strange because I had the idea before COVID and obviously I didn't know COVID was going to come along and, and stop look, yeah, everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And online business, I mean, online um, uh, shopping has been going up and up and up, of course. Yeah, well, uh, exactly. Well, yeah, everyone's at home, aren't they? So, and the shops are shut, you know, the shops have been shut more than they've been open recently. Yeah, yeah. So people are buying online. Definitely. I mean, you created the right thing at the right moment without knowing, of course, but uh, as you can see, I mean, coincidences and synchronicity worked perfectly uh, well. So how long did it take from um, the moment you contacted the, the company, the innovation company, till yeah. the, um, the app coming to fruition? It was, ne it was nearly exactly a year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I first had contact with them early September, mm -hmm. oh, early September, end of July, end of August, sorry. And mm -hmm. then right through to March, we finished a prototype. And then uh, I think it was March 2020, then we started coding the app. And that mm -hmm. took us to September the 1st when the app launched on the Apple App Store. That's great. And actually, of course, your um contact details will be everywhere in my uh, social media so uh, it will be easy for everyone oh, to go you. on the app store and download your your amazing app and oh, uh, did you have um i mean there were some months now between september and now um what uh, feedback did you have and especially because i think you are so young um, and yeah. uh, also the idea, because I found really important that you thought also of the size of people. Normally, at your age, of course, so you don't think yeah. uh, much of the body changing, because, of course, for, for someone my age, it's even more needed than uh, for uh, youngsters, although we all, uh, because you approach not only uh, the size, you approach the skin tone and um, everything related to the shopping yeah. experience. Yeah, definitely. Like shopping is for everyone. Everyone's going to have to go out and buy clothes at some point. You know, everybody wears clothes. So I didn't want it to be discriminate I didn't want it for only the younger people to use it I didn't want it just for the older people to use it or different skin tones like everybody is different yeah. and that is the key thing that I wanted and I wanted everyone to be included no matter what their body shape was their skin tone their size like it doesn't matter it, I wanted it to accommodate everyone and that was choosing the body size and the body skin color was something that made it more personalized to each individual user mm -hmm, definitely yeah it's a, a special uh, adventure <laughs> to use, <laughs> yeah, uh, your app. and I, I mean from uh, a marketing point of view i'm talking because i have a fashion brand uh, the fashion brand sells uh, more because most of the yeah. time i was commenting earlier i don't buy online for myself yeah. you know, only for my children but for myself really the idea of receiving the stuff and not uh, having to treat the way I wanted and the hassle of returning the items uh, yeah. put me off most of the time while uh, with your app of course the, also the the, the brands uh, have an advantage to sell more definitely because you feel mm. a bit more relaxed to commit and make the investment yeah. of buying yeah exactly and more, I think more people are willing to buy once they've tried something on it's like if you go to a shop you know people go into the fitting rooms I go into the fitting rooms check that something fits obviously of and course. then buy it because when you get it home you know exactly what it's going to look like yeah. But obviously with the fitting room shut because of covid and then obviously there's never been an option where you can try online mm -hmm. so sure. you know i think it's a perfect opportunity and also to reduce returns in the fashion industry because mm -hmm. that impacts on the environment so it's just a 
healthier way of shopping. Yeah, actually, this is another very important feature of your uh, big idea of the yeah. on the big idea that returning uh, items, of course, creates more um, uh, more pollution, uh, yeah. uh, energy, um, uh, more waste. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely in any way. So. On top, there's also the sustainability um, uh, quality of yeah. in what you do. And also, I wanted to mention, because we are, the shoppers are always uh, divided into two categories, uh, the emotional and the uh, more logical ones. Yeah. The emotional ones, they would have both anyway. But the logical one, I'm one of, of these person who goes to the shop, I check everything, then I go home. Then I go again in the shop and I try to I try on and I go and then yeah. I go back. So all this that is impossible and who knows for how long it will be impossible because even yeah. when the shops open, I don't think they will uh, let us try the uh, stuff on. Um, yeah. And so it's amazing. And the other thing, because now we are in this global economy where we definitely I like, for example, a lot of. Uh, US brands. And, yeah. Uh, I definitely cannot go uh, take yeah. a flight or go there and try and come back. Very so expensive that shopping. makes everything yeah. much easier, much easier, of course. Yeah, definitely, because you don't have to pay the tax and, you know, you only pay it if you like it, you know, exactly. rather than returning it. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and now, of course, so apart from the pandemic, we have Brexit. <laughs> so yeah. uh, um, buying something in Europe, for example, and pay tax when it arrives and then pay again when you uh, return it. I mean, it's such a confusion. Uh, you yeah. want to reduce definitely a waste of money, energy and uh, emotional. And postage, yeah. You know, if you're paying, paying for something to come in plus tax on top, you at least want to get it and like it, not having to then return it, waste your time, go back to the post office, you know, pay the tax, pay the returns, and then ship it again. You want things to come and you like it straight away. Yeah, exactly. And most of the time what happens, you don't have time or energy to go to the post office. So you, so you end up keeping that item, hating it and yeah. having wasted money. Yeah, so, yeah, and then it just sits in your wardrobe with the tag on it. Yeah. until you finally have a clear out and then yeah, you know, that, it either that, goes to the charity which is fantastic yes. or it gets sold on and it's it's like yeah you know, or and, uh, and it ends up unfortunately in the rubbish and we know yeah. that the fashion industry is one of the uh, industry creating more pollution from this point of view yeah. because uh, it's not uh, yet uh, recycled what we throw away and there are materials that cannot be recycled um, yeah so yeah I mean uh, no one uh, negative point everything <sighs> positive in what you uh, thought and uh, created and oh, thank you. Uh, because you are so young and of course to have an idea and have the satisfaction to see how good your idea yeah. is, uh, I'm sure you have many other ideas. Um, I haven't come across plans. anymore. Uh, I've got a few plans of like what I want to do in the future mm -hmm. and then personal things. And, but yes, yeah, so I've got a few, but nothing nothing at the moment you are still recovering because of course yeah. uh, it's not uh, um I, i'm sure you had ups and downs like everyone yeah probably at a young age you take the downs in a different way but still i mean mm. you needed one year of hard work to get where you are yeah today a hundred percent and i think before i went on this journey I didn't know how much work it was going to be and I didn't know how how like emotional it is I didn't know that you know you'd get upset about the downs and you know it's yeah. hard to hard to say about but you know you don't understand until you're actually in it so exactly I think for now I'm going to stick with this before <laughs> I venture on anything else just That's because I love I love it so much and obviously I do have a part-time job as well so it's you know balancing them both I, I just don't think I can touch any more ideas for now <laughs> That's maybe it. in a year's time but... yeah but 
anyway, it's, uh, uh, there's always time for more. And as you saw, yeah. oh, I mean, ideas come like in a second and either you grab it or you don't because you yeah. all have ideas. And now um, there are always, and then of course, when you have the idea, either you uh, are afraid, of course, to take the step, but you do yeah. it anyway, or you don't take the step and you don't act basically yeah exactly so you always like, have these two choices yeah definitely and but I do think it is so important just to take it because I didn't have much background knowledge in software technology anything like that like this is completely new to me I studied at business in college mm -hmm. but obviously studying business at college and then owning your own business is two completely course, different things so you know I didn't know much about what I was doing until you know I got into it. So I would yeah, just go for it. Yeah, yeah. and even if and it has developed you, me so much. Yeah, yeah. Even if they tell you, I mean, it's not the same. Like to live it yeah. uh, on on a daily basis. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. But it's definitely worth it. I always tell everyone. Oh, thank I mean, you. Uh, and, and anything you do in life, uh, you have to definitely. Uh, be afraid and do it uh, yeah. anyway because there's always another adventure out there and if you don't try you already lost uh, the battle right? yeah exactly <laughs> you know f failure comes in many different shapes and sizes and you're not going to get it perfect first time you yeah. know but just go for it you won't regret it if you go for it yeah and in fact I, I normally uh, like to talk about uh, success and opportunities because any failure yeah. has a positive, if nothing, at least uh, he, uh, the failure uh, gave you the teaching of not to try that thing again, because it went wrong. So yeah. if anything, uh, it's positive anyway. So yeah. you see it this way, yeah. Especially yeah, exactly. Business. Yeah, like I think every failure teaches you something. And I think it's how you learn to deal with that rather than just giving up. Exactly. you know I I've had a few things that actually things haven't worked out and you haven't how do you say it? you haven't you haven't got what you wanted out of the situation but it's it's okay you know you try a different way in and you make use of what you've got that's what I've learned yeah exactly we cannot change the circumstances uh, right yeah, exactly. I mean, because uh, there are too many influences to uh, to what we live every day but we can decide how to face them this is yeah definitely it's just managing how you go around it yeah not yeah. easy not easy no. <laughs> but uh, not we easy can learn and, yeah but... the good but... news is that we can learn how to do it definitely yeah definitely and um i always ask my uh, guests uh, if there's uh, a word or a motto, a quote that you can consider like a bit of the base and of your why and of what you are, or who you are and what you do? Yeah, um, I, I would just say, just go for it. You know, mm -hmm. no matter what age, just go for it. If you've got an idea, run with it. You, you just won't forget, you won't regret it. Definitely. I totally agree with you. It's always worth it to say I went and it didn't go yeah. then, uh, to regret. And then at some point in your life to look back and say, oh, if I knew. I yeah, knew. definitely. Or if I tried harder yeah. or if I didn't give up. Yeah. Yeah. OK, thanks a lot, Rebecca. It was so amazing. You are a great inspiration and your app is fantastic. So oh, thank please, you. everyone, go and download the app. It will change your shopping experience, definitely. All your oh, Rebecca you. uh, contacts will be in the post, in my bio, you know, everywhere. And um, um, please, uh, also let us know how it goes Rebecca yeah definitely have feedbacks so thanks again for being with us it's been a great pleasure and um, I love you and leave you and see you next week thank you